Hello and welcome to this tool tutorial about the defocus tool. Similar to the blur tool, the defocus tool can be used to blur your image. But in addition to the regular blur tool, it also adds blooming highlights. This makes for a much more believable blur, similar to the blur you would get with real world cameras. By default, it's set to Gaussian blur, and as with the blur tool, you can either apply a uniform defocus in both X and Y, or unlock X and Y and apply different defocus sizes for X and Y. The bloom level controls how strong your highlights will bloom up. The bloom threshold controls from which luminance value on the blooming will take place. The higher the value, the less blooming. The second option is the lens mode. In lens mode, you get, in addition to the defocus size and bloom level and bloom threshold controls, lens type controls. Let's bring up the defocus size a bit and change the lens type. So Angon Solid is the default. You can also have Angon Shaded Out, Angon Shaded In, and Circle. Let's stick with Angon Shaded In for the sake of this demo and zoom in a bit. The lens angle defines the rotation of the highlights. The lens sides define how many edges are on the Engon and the lens shape let you modify the Engon type in terms of a more starry look with a higher value or a more roundish look with a lower value. The clipping mode works the same as in the blur tool and is described in depth in the tutorial for the blur.